Welcome to Insights into Teens, a podcast series exploring the issues and challenges of today's youth. Your hosts are Joseph and Madison Whalen, a father and daughter team making their way through the challenges of the teenage years. This is episode zero of Insights into Teens. My name is Joseph Whalen, and I'm here with my co-host, Madison Whalen. Hi. Madison, how old are you? I am 12 years old, not nearly a teenager, but I will be 13 soon, so... So clearly we are blatantly lying with this podcast. Mm. It really is not Insights into Teens just yet. Well, nearly a teen, so... So when do you become a teenager? October of 2019. So you're pretty close then. Pretty much. But I think for our purposes, that's probably close enough for us. Yeah. So I think today we were going to talk about graces. So it might be worthwhile to give a little bit of an overview as to what this podcast is about, correct? Yep. So give me in your description what this podcast is going to be about. This podcast is basically going to be my dad asks me questions about my life. I answer them honestly, and we're going to have a specific topic for each episode. And today's episode is braces. How old were you when you got braces the first time? Uh, 11. You were 11. And was it painful getting braces? Well, it was slightly uncomfortable. I mean... It was painful afterwards, um, especially when I was eating, so it was just uncomfortable when they put it on, but it was painful afterwards. So describe what it was like getting braces. Did you, like, why did you need braces? Well, my first off, and the main reason people get braces, is my teeth weren't straight. Another reason I had to go to my orthodontist was because before my teeth were right on top, my top teeth and my bottom teeth were right on top of each other. And, like, instead of my top teeth being in front of my bottom teeth. So, I had to get, another, I had to get um, an appliance on, on my, uh, for the top of my teeth so that they can get pushed forward. So, I will be able to have a normal um, mouth, pretty much. So, in a normal situation, you would have a slight overbite with your top teeth over your lower teeth? Pretty much. Okay. Now, by the time you went to get braces done, had you transitioned out of all your baby teeth and had all your adult teeth? Uh, not exactly. I had a few more baby teeth left, and I actually had to get some pulled out when I had my braces because I have another problem on the bottom of my teeth where I need a lip bumper. So when you did that, you had to have a couple of teeth extracted. Was it the same doctor that did the braces who did the extraction? Uh, no, I actually had to went, go to my dentist, and I wasn't able to get them pulled out at my, at my orthodontist, so I went to the dentist. So you're seeing, or you were seeing, at least two different doctors for your, your teeth to get your braces set. Yeah. So when they put the braces on, what, 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 what did they put on? What did they attach? What, explain to me, explain to the audience... Uh, exactly what they did with the braces well basically they had to first put on the brackets so they basically had the small brackets they put in the middle of my teeth and they had a light that would shine for a few seconds on each tooth because there was like this type of glue they put on my teeth beforehand and to let the glue dry they had to put the light on it and that was one of the most uncomfortable parts of it so so the light actually is what they use to cure the glue to make the glue stick at that point. Yeah, well, the glue was sticky anyway, but they just had to, like, dry it. Oh, uh, that's kind of interesting. What was painful about that? Um, nothing really painful about that. It was just very uncomfortable. Is it because they had so much stuff in your mouth? Is Did they have to open your mouth further than it was comfortable? What was uncomfortable? Well, pretty much whenever they had to put, like, they actually put the light against the bracket, which was kind of uncomfortable because it kind of pushed against my tooth, which didn't, wasn't very comfortable. Okay. 
And all this happened after you had how many teeth extracted? Um, I actually didn't have any teeth extracted at the moment, but after I had got my braces, when um my limp bump bumper was way out of place, when they were trying to put it back in after they took it out, they realized that they couldn't put it back in because of some baby teeth, so I had to get them extracted. So I never really had any teeth extracted um, before I had to get my braces on. Oh, so the first phase of your braces, you still had your baby teeth in then? Yeah. I gotcha. Okay. What else What else was of note with that first phase of getting the braces put in? Well, they had to take a small break after getting my bottom all set. Then after that break, I was able to see my mom... Like, I was able to talk about it. I said it wasn't really painful at first, but it started getting a little more painful after that. So, yeah. So how long did the whole process take to get all that stuff done? Um, I honestly didn't t keep track of time, but it took maybe an hour, two hours. Okay. Around that, because it was like 12.38 by the time we finished. And I don't remember the actual appointment time. I think it was like nine so probably about two to three hours okay so after you got all that done did you have any kind of restrictions on what you could eat what you could drink yes so i couldn't drink any sugary drinks like lemonade or regular coke so i was pretty much on a diet for drinks i also couldn't eat ice or like chewy candies and like Apparently jerky I couldn't eat either. Big jerky eater, are you? No, I, like, whenever we had jerky, whenever we went on, like, a road trip, I would eat it because, well, one of the only foods, but... So then why can't you eat those things? Well, because they, because they could pull my brackets off. Now, the brackets are the things that attach directly to your teeth? Yes. And then what, do they have a wire that goes between those brackets? Yeah, pretty much. After a few vi visits after I'd gotten it on, they had to take it off, and it was actually very weird. Either either my legs had fallen asleep, but I couldn't stand. I could barely even, like, brush my teeth when they told me to. I was just, like, very weak after they took m I was, like, sitting there for a while, though, so maybe that was it. I don't know. It just felt a little weird when they had taking the bar off and it was only the brackets. Hmm. So, let's talk about dental hygiene since you've gotten the braces. How's that changed? I mean, you used to brush, you used to floss, obviously, mouthwash. Are you still doing those things? Are you well, doing them differently? Well, if you were going to floss while using braces, you would actually have to use the string and like be very careful. But my mom didn't want to take any chances of me hurting myself, so she had decided to get me a water pick. A water pick? What exactly is that? Well, it's basically like, you know when you go to the dentist and they spray water in your mouth? It's similar to that. It's just like a little um, contraption where you turn it on and like you fill it up and there's water that squirts out and there's like a little brush where you can brush as well while the water is squirting out. So is it like high pressure water that, that squirts out? Well, at the beginning I thought it was high pressure, but once you get used to it, it actually doesn't really feel like high pressure. So I'm going to ask what seems like an obvious question. You're, if you're squirting water into your mouth to clean it, doesn't your mouth fill with water? Yeah. What do you do with that water? You spit it out. If, if it gets too full to the point where like, it feels like your mouth is completely full of water, you spit it out. And I've had to do it a few times whenever it's like completely full. Okay. And I use it all. Well, that makes sense then. So, so what about brushing? Are you brushing the same way you would brush before? No. Um, to have extra safety, my mom had gotten me an electric toothbrush that I use now. Um, you basically turn it on. You need It needs to get charged, so you basically just have... It's spinning while you're regularly brushing your teeth. So what does that do to help with the braces? Well, it can help you. It helps me brush a bit better. So, yeah. So the head of the brush, is it? I'm assuming if it's spinning, it's, it's a round head? Yeah. And it just spins back and forth and you brush like you normally would? Yeah.
Does that cause any discomfort with the braces at all? No, not at all. Unless, like, you push it really hard, then that causes discomfort. So what else unusual with the braces are you dealing with? Do you have, do you, like, some? sometimes you have to put bands on, don't you? Uh, yeah. That's and, a nightmare. Now, okay, talk about that if that's a nightmare. Well, in the beginning, I had to wear them during the day, and believe me, I could, I had to go on a soft food diet. I could only drink, I could only have liquid foods like applesauce and yogurt, and it was horrible. You don't like yogurt? Not really. Did you get to have ice cream? Yeah, I got ice cream. That was probably one of the only good things about it. I mean, I could have, I could only have soft foods, and it was really painful having to wear them on. And once I learned you had to change them every day, it was just really painful every day. You had to change them and change them and change them and change them and change them. So you had to change them that many times a day? Like only once, like in the like at night, I would change my band and then repeat it for the next day at night change the band pretty much I so when you say you had to keep changing and changing and changing and changing you really just had to do it once a day yeah pretty much so that was just an exaggeration and eventually it had gotten painful so what what was painful about the bands well <clears throat> can you imagine having very very small rubber bands on two hooks of your jaws pulling them up so where did the rubber bands actually hook? Um, they, they hook, oh, they hook up, um, so there's like something in the back, in my back teeth on my top, and then I pull it down, and the, and on my lip bumper there are two hooks that are in, in the front, and I hook them onto there. And what is the purpose of the bands? Well, in, well, before I went to the orthodontist, my T my um, teeth in the back were really far apart, so the orthodontist is trying to pull them together. And so far it's worked, but it kind of worked a little too well. What do you mean by that? What I mean is when I was wearing the bands all day, my bar was actually moving upward to the point where I couldn't move it where it was supposed to go. And like now my complete front teeth were gapped completely like i could fit my tongue through it without when i was trying to close my mouth so like you couldn't bite down on anything because of the gap pretty much yeah so what they do to correct that well that's when they took off my um my lip bumper and told me not to wear the rubber bands for a month but it lasted a little longer so now you're back to wearing bands or you're still not wearing them well i'm wearing bands only at night now which is a little more comfortable. But even when I had to wear them at night, sometimes my bar would still get adjusted. And then after a moment of time, they had decided to change it again. But even now, once they changed it a third time, my mouth. Well, actually, there was this one... Well, before they had taken my bar out, they had told me not to wear the rubber bands. But eventually... I got in a bad sore, so they had to take my bar completely for f for a month or two. And let the let the sore heal. Yeah. So, uh, explain what you or how you put the bands in. Well, in the beginning, I would have to use my parents' help because it was too painful for me. They had a hook. You hooked it onto the rubber band. You stuck it on um the what hook. What kind of on hook? Like a fish hook? Daddy, really. No, it's like a little tool. It's a mini tool. It has um, a hook shape on one end, and the other is like um, a claw-shaped thing. I don't know. That's the best I can describe it, pretty much. A hook and a claw. It sounds like a pirate weapon. No. Anyway, so des describe how you put the bands on. So, there is, so when I take them out of the package, I get one rubber band, I hook it onto the hook, then I hook the rubber band onto um, my back tooth where the hook is. No, that's and up on your top row of teeth. Yeah. Then I pull it down towards the hooks on my um, lip bumper on my bottom jaw, and then I hook it on and then let go of the t and then get the tool to go off and then the rubber bands just stay there. Pretty flexible for such a tiny thing. So 
at first you had difficulty you need help with that you needed help with it how are you now have you gotten used to doing it yeah like i s one time i had actually used the hook to do it myself and even though it was painful i got it got used to it then and now i'm actually able to just use my finger without the tool so let's talk about what it's like living with braces mm -hmm. so first of all i'm assuming you're still on some kind of restricted diet there's some things you can't eat yep um but i'm guessing it's not a liquid diet right well i'm still kind of going on the liquid diet i don't have i don't really have too many sugary drinks like whenever there's diet lemonade i get that because there's no real sugar in it because um if you get sugar it when you get sugar on your teeth it could get a little harder to brush them so okay so what other things can't you eat now well i can't eat corn on the cob so my mom just cuts off the corn okay so yeah i'm not normal for that what about what about like regular foods you would eat like pizza you can eat pizza right yeah unfortunately i haven't adapted my mouth so we always have to cut it so you cut it off and you're okay eating uh, oh, and else? fruits. Um, my mom always has to now, you know how you have those apple slices? Well, my mom has to cut up tiny little bits now. Okay, and why is that? Because you can't chew it or because well, it'll damage the braces? Well, part, part of both. It'll da it can damage the braces and I can't really chew a whole apple or the whole slice. So it's better for me to just have like a bite-sized one. Okay. So, outside of food restrictions, what else do you have restrictions on? You play trumpet, too. Does it affect your trumpet playing? Yep, it does. I have, so, um, since the mouthpiece um, goes against my lips, it can push my braces and it could possibly damage them, so I have to wear a layer of wax. All right, you, you're going to have to explain what the wax does, how you put it on, and how it helps. All right, so what the wax does, it gives me a layer so so it gives me a layer on my braces so it's more smoother i guess and then like so the wax goes between the braces and your lips then yeah pretty much okay. it goes on my braces and then i have my lips on and then my lips go over it okay and whenever i play my trump and when i play my trumpet it um guards my braces so they don't get damaged so after you're done playing, how do you get rid of the wax? Uh, I just have to peel it off. Unfortunately, there are some tiny pieces that always get stuck on my braces. But luckily, sometimes when I move my mouth around, or like my tongue pretty much, they come off. What about talking? I mean, obviously, you're very... Um, understandable now when you first got the braces on did you have issues with talking having all that stuff in your mouth yeah i mean when i first had them on i could barely even say s and like the doctor said like recommend singing and um saying s uh -huh. and i sounded kind of like um i kind of sounded like i was mumbling and like you could barely understand me on the phone the first time after i got my braces on and m mommy called now, did you have a lot of discomfort after that? Well, a little discomfort for a few days, but it went away. So, from a maintenance standpoint now, do you go back and get adjustments done? Or, like, how do they how do they take care of the braces? Well, pretty much they just, like, change the colors normally. You get to pick your colors? Yeah, pretty much. Well, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So, now, where, where, what colors change? Where does it change? Is it... Like, there's, like, little rubber bands that go over my brackets, and, like, they change them for different colors. I don't remember what color it is now. Can you see what color it is? Yeah, it's too dark. I can't see. Hmm. I can't remember what I chose. But you get to pick the color. Yeah, pretty much. I... So, let's talk about school and your friends and stuff like that now I'll, I'll i'll be honest with you i never had braces myself i know um i was i was blessed with teeth that were straight but fell out when i was younger so I'm i not... don't think we should say that to the viewers well thing. no i mean I, I traditionally have 
bad teeth. Um, yeah. You know, it runs in my family, but they were straight. Mm -hmm. So I never had to go through all that stuff. So what I'm curious about is how did the kids at school treat you? Because I know, you know, kids can be mean sometimes. And when I was a kid and, and someone came in with braces, you know, we'd razz them a little bit and, and make fun of them a little bit. Did you run into any of that at school? No, nobody made fun of me. People were just, like, saying, wow, you got braces? Cool. Pretty now, much. are you the only kid in your grade with braces? No, the, I've seen a few other kids. I mean, it is kind of disappointing when you see them get theirs off, and I'm like, why can't I get mine off? It's been torture. So, all right, Sometimes. let's talk about that a little bit. Why is that? Did they get them when they were younger, and you may have gotten yours when you were a little bit older? Is that it? Yeah, um, I'm... I was kind of a little late, but I'm not too late, so I'm getting my braces. Because I seem to remember, you know, when I was in school and kids got braces, they got braces probably 7th, 8th, and ninth grade. So, to me, that's what the normal is. So, I thought when you got your braces, you might have been a little young for it, but you're saying kids are even younger than that getting them. Yeah, I mean, my mom got hers in 3rd grade, so... Wow. Really, I didn't know. I didn't realize that. Yeah, she told me about it when we were talking about um when, what it was like getting braces for her. Huh, interesting. So, but the kids aren't bothering you or anything. No, not at all. Like. So, how long do you think, or how long has a doctor said that you'll probably have braces? Well, it'll. I'll have to wait and see when I get my bottom braces on. Oh, so you're not even done with all your braces at this point? Nope. Like, the doctor said in a few months I'll be able to, like, get my bottom braces on. And I'm probably going to have those for a while. So I'm kind of far away from getting my braces off. So what are we talking about? Are we talking about two years, three years, five years? What do you think? Uh, I honestly don't know. I mean, I, the all the orthodontist really said time-wise, then in a few months I'll be able to get my bottom braces on. Okay. And I don't know how long I'll have to have them on along with my top braces. Okay. So all in all, what, what do you think about the experience of getting braces and the appointments and all that stuff? What's your opinion? Well, the appointments are mainly an hour long, but just sitting there doesn't really seem like an hour they don't really do much in the hour because they're always helping other patients but i've gotten used to it so it's not really that big of a deal i mean and having braces now before i could like it felt so strange but now i can hardly even notice them so you've adapted to it at this point pretty much it doesn't really feel like there's anything wrong with my lips and one time when they had to take and when they took my bar off it actually felt weird to have normal teeth on my bottom on the on my bottom jaw. Oh, I'll bet, yeah. So, what do you think of your orthodontist? Well, he's a really nice orthodontist. Well, that's good. He's funny too, so. I guess that helps, right? Sure. Um, it, explain to me, like you go, how often do you go? Once a month for adjustments and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, explain what a typical appointment is. Well, normally, well, normally you would come in and you'd have to find a parking spot because they don't have a lot of parking. Sometimes we would have to park at another street, so... Yeah. That could be a problem, yeah. Yeah, but it's not that big of a problem. We've done it before. And then we would walk in. I would sign in. I would normally ask my mom, what time was my orthodontist appointment? Because I always forget. That's important to know that, yeah. Yeah, and then I would... And then, um... You would sit a few minutes, and then they would. I would wait for them to call my name. Then they, w I would sit where they would want me to sit. Then they would normally like change my colors and ask me what colors do you want. Then, depending on the appointment, they would, uh, they would do what they, uh, what else they needed to do. The only real regular thing is what I just told you. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't sound like it's that bad of an experience going in for the follow-ups then. Well. The only problem was in the beginning, it always hurt changing my colors, so we had to, like, get me medicine. So every time I would go to the orthodontist right beforehand, I would um, take some Tylenol before we went in or some other type of medicine so I wouldn't really feel too much pain. So just, like, regular over-the-counter stuff, nothing the doctor prescribed? Nope. Okay. 
So then the pain wasn't that bad. And it was just more of a preventative thing then. Yeah, pretty much. Did you ever have to use anything like um, Aura Gel or anything like that to apply directly to your gums if they hurt? Well, well, sometimes I would have because in the beginning it was when I put when I had to put my bands on, uh, it was pretty painful. So we put Aura Gel on to numb myself for a little bit. So yeah, but I've gotten used to it now, so I don't really use it anymore. But just in case, we always have a spare. Well, you've gotten used to what, the pain? Or you've gotten used to actually doing what you need to do? Well, there's no real pain anymore. I don't really feel any more pain whenever I do what I do. Well, that's good. That's important. So, if you were going to give any advice to someone else out there who might be getting ready to go through this, what would the advice be? Well, my advice would be to, if you are going in for a checkup, you might want to take um, something, in, something in, if, it, if you realize it starts hurting whenever you go to your first like few appointments after you get your braces, I would recommend get trying um, out some Tylenol or some other pain medicine. And what about any advice you have for someone who's going to be going to get braces just in general? Is there any maintenance or any little tricks or anything like that? Not really. I mean, I'd, I can't really think of anything on the top of my head. How has the experience of getting braces been? Has it been terrible? Has it been life-changing? Has it been tolerable? Well, I could say... I could say all three. Okay. So. So it's been a pretty big impact on your day-to-day -day life then. Mm, pretty much. You think you're okay with it at this point in time dealing with? Yeah, right now I would just say it's tolerable. Before I would say um, terrible and life-changing, but now I'm able to say it's tolerable. Okay. Well, that's good. Did you have, before we sign off on the podcast, did you have any other... Uh, any other comments you wanted to make before we sign off? I only have really one comment, which is, if you're getting braces, it'll be a hard experience at first, but once you get used to it, like I have, even though I'm only, I'm barely through my first year, you'll get used to it eventually. I mean, you're gonna have pain, you're probably going to have discomfort, but eventually you'll get used to all the pain, and eventually you won't even have it. And if you're ever going to get rubber bands, I would just say it does get a little uncomfortable, but you will get used to it. That's pretty much all I have to say. Okay. I think that was very well said. And I think that's going to do it for our discussion this week. Uh, hopefully we'll be back next week with uh, another interesting insight into teens topic to talk about. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.